this tutorial, I'll explain the development of suppressor solid spot. The problem is something like this. Draw the development of lateral surface of part B of the square pyramid shown in figure 1. So, this is a square pyramid. This part is the required portion. For this portion of the solid, we have to draw the development. So, here it is clearly shown that they are asking only for the lateral surface. So, lateral surface means we can omit the base and for the remaining portion only we have to draw the development. So, another way of doing this problem is they can do the problem something like this. Draw the development of a square pyramid when it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP and inclined at 45 degrees to HP and bisecting the axis. Total length is 40, bisecting the axis means at the midpoint we can draw Parting line. Something like this in the form of words also they will give the problem or they will give the diagram. Okay. So now start drawing the other productions. Take the XY line. First draw the top view. So the side of this square term is 30. Name this as A, B, C, D. And the apex is O. And center of the base is P. Now project to front view. Axis length is 40. Here you are getting O dash, and here you will get A dash, comma D dash. Here you will get B dash, comma C dash. This center point of base is P dash. Now, from the apex, the distance of 20 mm, you are drawing 45 degree line like this. So for this particular portion, you have to draw the lateral. Development of the lateral surface. Okay. Now, this particular portion you identify as a section plane and mark the cutting points or intersection points. So here, the section plane is intersecting with O dash and A dash. The point I am calling as one dash. Next, when you move from left to right in this direction, here you are getting one more intersection point that is O dash and B dash with respect to O dash and B dash that point you call as 2 dash this plane is representing another edge that is OC so OB and OC are represented here that OC is on the rear side that is invisible so that's why you the numbering when you are moving in the reverse direction that is right to left so this is 3 dash this particular line is representing one more slant edge that is OD so that means on O dash and D dash here you will get O dash point. Something in this way you will get four cutting points. Okay. Now on the development, always we have to represent the two lines on the so coming to the base edge AB. So in the top view you can get the two length of AB that is 30. What about the slant edge length? The slant edge length. This particular slant edge OA is inclined to both the reference planes. OA is inclined to HP as well as it is inclined to BP. Here this height is the axis length. But this slant edge length you can't get either in the front view or in the top view. So to get the two length of the slant edge in the front view and I am making this OA parallel to XY. This I am calling as A1. Now you project this to the front view, this is A1 dash. Now if you draw a line joining O dash and A1 dash, this line will give the true length. Okay. So that true length is 45.28. So 45.28 is the length of this slant edge. Okay. In this way you have to find the true length. After finding the true length, you have to project the you have to project all these points, 1 dash, 4 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, all these points on to the true length only. Okay, you can't take the di dimensions from the front view. You have to project them onto the true length like this. Now here you call the point as 1 dash 4 dash again, but I am giving a different color for understanding purpose. Okay. Next project these two points also onto the true length. Okay. 2 dash and 3 dash. Okay. Now Taking this O dash and A1 dash distance, that is 45.28 distance, because on the development always we have to represent the two lengths only. 
that's why OA. On the develop write the names with capital letters. That's why this OA area A1 dash we are calling as OA. OA center OA has radius draw an arc like this. Okay. After drawing this arc, along this arc you represent the base edges. Along the arc you represent the base edges. Base edge distance is 30. So that's why take this 30 radius in your compass and the A as center draw an arc. Then automatically you get B. Now the same 30 radius B as center draw another arc. Then you get C. Now take C as center draw another arc. You will get B. Now D as center draw another arc. You will get A. So here four sides are there. That's why all those four sides you have to represent along the along this curve. Okay. Next join all these A, B, B, C, C, D, and B, A with the straight edges because you have to get the straight edges. Okay. Next draw the line joining O, B, O, C, O, D, and O, A. Okay. As shown here. Let's draw the lines. After that, the important portion is you have to transfer these 1, 2, 3, 4 points onto the development. Okay. For that, when it is when the section plane is cutting only the slant edges, you can take those slant edge distances from the from the line representing two length. If it is cutting the base, then you have to take that point to the top view. From the top you have to transfer that point to the development. Okay. It is just similar to parallel method, but here the difference is you are finding the two length here. Two length of the slant edge and you are transferring points under the pool length. Okay. Now, take the distance of uh, 1 dash from A1 like this. This distance you have to measure with the compass. No need to take this value with scale. Just to find this distance with compass and mark the distance here from A. Then you will get point 0.1 like this. Okay. So, these dimensions I am showing only for understanding purpose. No need to draw these dimensions, you have to do this with compass only, that is why I am erasing these dimensions, that is only for your understanding purpose. Okay, one point is transferred. Next two, A to two, this is the distance. Okay, that distance you have to represent, point two is on B, that is why from B, you have to represent the distance with compass. Okay, take B as center. Take this distance in compass, take B as center, try now. You will get this point. Okay. This point will get always two. These are only understanding purpose, not necessary memorizing. Okay. Next. Three point is also at the same distance. Distance is same. That's why from three, you mark the same distance in compass. That is three. No need of these dimension lines. Okay. Next point four is on D. Distance is 8.83 this distance you have to take with compass from the draw an arc. So here you will get 4. Okay. Next again 1 you will get. So one distance is same. This distance, this point is again 1. No need of that. Now join A 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 and A. There is a required portion. That particular portion you have to draw with thick lines like this particular portion must be thick. Remaining this portion must be thin. In this way you can draw the development of lateral surface of the required portion P of the given square parameter. Okay. 